Okay, so today we're going to be making seven different charcuterie boards or serving trays. And um, this is the wood we're going to be using. It's just some red oak wood I picked up from Lowe's. And these are the templates we're going to be using. So like this is our biggest one. I know it's hard to see with the clear plexiglass, but like this one's 28 inches long. And here's its handles design. And then this would be our smallest one. And it's only 13 inches long. And then here's its little handle design. And then here are the other five we're going to be doing. But before I can show you all how we're going to use these to make our boards, we need to cut our um, wood down to size, basically the length. So our biggest one's 28 inches long. So we just need to figure out the best way to cut this because I don't really have a good saw to cut it because it's so wide. But I think we're just going to use the chop saw and the jigsaw to uh, cut it. Okay, so cutting them down to length was pretty easy, but now we need to cut the width. So here all seven of them are. So I'm just gonna measure these real quick and then we're gonna use this table saw to cut the width. We got all the seven boards cut out to their width and length and here they are and the next thing we need to do is use our templates and so here's the extra small so we're just going to place it on its board and use a pencil and trace out the handle and we're also going to use this little paint can and we're going to put it just on the two corners and then trace it out with a pencil and we're going to use a jigsaw to cut it out but we're not going to cut on the pencil line we're going to cut right outside the line and I'll explain that later but yeah first we'll go ahead and trace them out and then we'll use a jigsaw to cut it Okay, so I got them all cut out with the jigsaw. Here's all the different kind of shapes they are. And the next thing, we're going to use our template again. And so here's the extra small. And we're gonna use some double-sided tape. We're gonna use some of this tape. And then we're gonna tape it onto the piece of wood. And we're gonna use the router. And we're gonna use this router bit. It has a little uh, round bead on it. And the bit's going to ride against um, the plexiglass right here and so hopefully it's going to ride against it and then we'll sh we should get a perfect shape um, as this template.
Next, we're gonna use the sander to mainly get these burn marks off from using the router and also get a nice smooth surface on them. And then after we do that, I have a laser engraver, so we're gonna laser engrave some designs on these. And then after that, we'll probably just oil them and then they'll be done. So yeah, we'll begin by using the sander and we'll sand all the way up to probably 220 grit. <laughs> So I got all seven of them finished. I think they came out pretty nicely. So I went ahead and lasered engraved these and put some oil on them. But you don't have to laser engrave them at all because they look just as good without the laser engraving. But I'll put a link in the description if you want to buy one of these or these templates. But anyways, thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed.